Yeah, head shakes. Any sight of it? Yeah, it's a nice one. Is it? Look at that thing take up the hole. Oh, look at that, babe! Look at that thing! That is a Ooh. beautiful fish. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to NB Edits. Today, we have got a killer video for you. It's a little late. I probably should have filmed an intro earlier, but we are up here in Northern Wisconsin. We got some snow coming down on us right now. We've been out here for a few hours. We've gotten multiple flags. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you right now, it is going to be a banger of a night. I don't know how much longer we're gonna stay out here, but we've already had some pretty good luck. So stay tuned. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Tons of walleye action coming right at you. Oh yeah, it's spinning. First one of the night, it was spinning. Stopped. Oh boy. I don't see it, man. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Oh. It's on right here, it's on right here. He's on? Yep. How's it feel? Small. Small guy? That's not a bad one, pull it off. There we go. Let's go. Sun's just going down. First flag. Look how dark that fish is. Uh, under the slot. That one probably is just under the slot. 18 or 19? So that's a good keeper. Yep. Yeah, that one's all right. Well, we literally were just complaining that uh, it was a little late and we didn't get any tip-ups. But now, literally just sat down, Brad's like, oh, tip-up. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little walleye right there. Really dark. Yeah, yeah it is super, super dark. dark. Super, super dark. I don't know how well you can see it since we don't have any lights on it, but. I'm gonna oh, tip up behind us, right there. A... We'll go to measurement on this guy. Yeah. Might have to get a release, but I think that's gonna be a keeper-sized walleye. Down moving? Yeah. All right, get ready. This is all you, buddy. Feel anything? Yeah, I got a baby. Oh, oh just a little guy. Should we compare? Get yours away from mine, he's scaring them. <laughs> <laughs> Is she moving? Yep, slow, slow turns. Now it kind of stopped. Oh, just a little bit of movement. It's going out deeper. Yep, there's a fish there. All right, come on, buddy. Let's get it, Brando. Got him. Can't tell how big. It's not small. Either it's got a lot of weeds, or it's not small. Yeah, head shakes. Any sight of it? Yeah, it's a nice one. Is it? Yeah, it's a good fish. Oh, I see it under the ice over here. I see the ice on my side. Oh, it's tagged. Oh, it's tagged? Yeah, it's Wee. a tagged walleye. There you go. Tagged. It's banded. It's got a banded one here. Oh yeah, that's a decent little fish there. Hey, look at that thing take up the hole. Oh, look at that, babe! Look at that thing! That is a Ooh. beautiful fish. Check that out, guys. Nice job. Beautiful fish. And what I was talking about, it being tagged, you're gonna see that right here. That is tagged, stocked from the DNR. If you keep these fish, you can actually send the code in that is on that tag to the DNR and you can get a little information as to when this fish was dropped into this body of water, would have been dropped in when it was uh, a lot smaller than this. This one's gonna be probably in the slot. I'm gonna guess that's about a 21. One and a half? Maybe 22, 21, 22, somewhere around there. Not a monster fish, but dang, that is a good way to start the night. Awesome looking dorsal. He's all, he's all messed up up top here. Can you read it? In case anybody wants to search it. Tag is letters G, L I F W C. If anyone's ever curious, you can look up a little information on that fish and that'll tell you when that fish was put into this body of water. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the pliers and get this guy unhooked. All right, one last good look at this fish before it goes back. That is a beautiful fish. I didn't get a measurement on it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say this fish is probably roughly 22 inches. I know it's in the slot, so we're gonna be putting this guy back. Woo! Come on now, girl. Oh, just gave it a kick. There she goes, and Ooh. away. Again, guys, very important to keep them in the water as much as possible when you're operating on them. We're gonna have to keep this mess the way it is because we got another tip up right behind us. Let's go check it out. Oh, oh yeah, she's oh, spinning. Geez, he's showing signs. Oh, son. Oh, son. You can take him. Yeah, go ahead, take him, Pat. 
Go. How's it feel? I got 14 and a quarter. 14 and a quarter. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Oh, 15, 15 and a quarter, 16. Slow, Ooh. slow, slow, hey, slow, that's slow, not bad. slow, slow, come up. There he is! Another beautiful walleye. This one's gonna be really close to the eater size. He should be just under the 20 inch mark. Again, that's guys, we like to keep them 15 to 20 is legal on this lake uh, over 24 you can keep one fish but we want to try and uh, keep the ones that are between 15 and 20 so we're going to get this guy unhooked and get a measurement on it well head shake well, let's feel it i got the bobber here it comes i don't ready? see it yet up oh, there it is oh it's decent it's you know oh yeah it's a nice one come on there he is that's a nice one yeah that's let's a cool path Look at that one, buddy. Let's go. He freaking choked her. Yeah, that's a fat one, eh? I'd say. That is a nice one. Wow. Fatter one, for sure. Another slot fish. Nice job, Pat. Good job, Pat. Woo! Oh, yeah. We finally did it. Let's get a good release on this guy here. We know he's over the slot, so back he'll go. He's a decent one. Fatty. I can feel him doing a little move. Oh, whoop, whoop. there he goes. Woo. And he's off. Just like that. On to the next. Yeah, oh. Decent amount of weight there, but he's close. It felt like it at first. It's caught on the ice. Oh, I see him. Here he comes. Decent one. Yeah. Just let him do his thing. Come on, buddy. Give him time. There it is. Oh. Get your head up. Get your head up. There take him, take him. Dude, look at her. She is a beaut. Definitely over though, so she's gonna go back, but that is a quality, quality walleye. Good belly on her. She's a big girl, all right. Let's... How's that feel? That one felt pretty good. Yeah. That was definitely the biggest of the night for me so far, so. 23 and an eighth. Yep. Still in the slot, but a fat fish for sure. Come on. Oop, there we go. Good one, good release. Took a little bit, but she got there. Another flag. Here we go, boys. Oh, look at that, slow turns. She's barely moving. Here we go, boys. Let's do this thing. Good fish. Good fish? Oh, well, didn't take a lot out, but if she crawled. It's just a lot of head shakes. I think it's huge, but it might have been swimming at me. Oh no, it's a little guy. First uh, short out of this one, eh? <laughs> Nice save. Oh, the hook came out and I saved her. Not a freaking giant, just a little guy. Gonna be just under the 15 mark. It was doing the old 10 pound crawl, but uh, <laughs> no, that's not the case. Good go. release, look at that, that was quick. Go ahead and take the tip up light off. Yep. He's saying that that's a tasty shiner. <laughs> oh, 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 yep, 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 yep. Slow turns, slow turns. Go. Let him choke it down a little bit. Oh, that had to be the choke. I'd agree. Oh, for sure. Okay. All right, here oh, we go. Oh, look yep. at it go. Perfect, there it goes. perfect. Take it, take it. This might be one of our last tip-ups of the night. It probably is. And he dropped it. Did he? Nope. Baby. Close. Maybe. Baby. Is it a baby? Yeah. yeah. I told you. Yeah. Oh, hello, buddy. That might be. He's going to be close to an eater. We'll get a measurement on it. Alrighty, guys. Well, that one was just over 15, 15 and three quarters. So we got another tip up and we're going to go ahead and check this one. Oh, slow turns. All right. We're going to go ahead and take it. I think this is the first time this one went off all night. Oh. oh yeah, he just ripped. Oh god. He oh ripped. yeah. Little guy, I think. Yeah, it's a little guy. 16 incher? I'm hoping. Oh, he's gonna be darn close. Alright, there he is. Small one, he's gonna be close to the 15. He might be just under that 15 inch mark. Grab some cabbage, he ran for the weeds, but uh, we got him. So, again, I'm not sure how long we're gonna stay out here. Might be one of our last flags, but uh, decent night of fishing, that's for sure. All right, that one is just under the legal limit, 14 and a quarter. 
there he goes. See ya, buddy. All right, everyone. Home sweet home at last. Feels good to be back. Had an absolute blast out there with the guys. Got into a lot of really nice fish. And I have got some questions for our viewers at home. That's right. I've got questions for you guys. And hopefully you guys can kind of help me clear a few things up. I'm curious if any of you have caught a tagged walleye before. Now I'm sure for some of you, you're gonna go, oh, absolutely, I've caught tons of them. And I'm sure there's also some of our viewers that have never done it, whether it be open water or on top of the hard water. I feel like I've more commonly done it ice fishing, I think, but I guess I'm not really sure why. It just happens to be that I've definitely pulled more tagged fish through the ice so I'm curious if you guys have ever caught a tagged walleye. And question number two would be, have any of you caught a tagged fish of any other species? I personally have only caught a tagged walleye. I've never caught any other tagged fish besides walleye. But I'm sure that there's gotta be pike or panfish or something out there that people have caught. And it doesn't even have to be in the state of Wisconsin. It could be anywhere in the Midwest, anywhere in the world, really. I'm sure that the Wisconsin DNR does it a little bit differently than some other areas, but I'm very curious how many of you guys have caught a tagged fish before. And I'm also curious if you guys have ever registered such tagged fish. Have you actually put in the time to figure out the age of that fish, when that fish was stocked, and so on? I actually have never done it before, and I am personally just kind of going through the process right now. I logged on to the Wisconsin DNR website, and I realized you can't just punch in a code, like what I thought maybe you could. You actually have to send in the code that you read on the tag. You are not supposed to pull the tag out of the fish. Don't do that. <laughs> if you were to do that, then you'd be obviously ruining the study that the DNR is putting on. So again, if you're watching this from home, don't ever pull a tag out of a fish if you do ever get into one. But I'm just curious how many of you guys have gone through the process and found some interesting information, whether it was a smaller fish that was recently stocked, or maybe some of you have gotten into a larger fish that was years and years old. I know earlier this spring, Nick got into a walleye that was tagged and it looked like a really, really old fish. And the tag also looked old. I mean, you could tell that there was LG and it was kind of bent and it was, you could tell that this thing was rustic. This was an old tag, an old fish, and it was a quality sized fish. And that was in the springtime. But like I said, I tend to see more tagged fish through the ice. I don't know why that is, but just very curious as to how many of you guys have gotten out caught in a tagged fish, whether it was a walleye or any other species, and how many of you have actually gone through the time to send that information over to the DNR through the mail. I find it very interesting because I personally have not done it and this is going to be my first time doing it. So I'm very interested to see the results. I'm very interested to see your guys' input. So anybody who ever has, or even if you haven't, give me a comment down below. I would really appreciate that. I just kind of want to see from all of our viewers aspect what the ratio is as far as how many people are catching tagged fish. I think that would be interesting to know. If you guys have any other questions as far as how I had things rigged up today, uh, certainly leave it down in the comment section. We were running shiners and suckers. I just got out with a couple guys that I work with and we got into a lot of really nice sized fish and some smaller ones, some eaters, a little bit of everything. So it was an awesome time out there. I really hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, also hit that notification bell. It's gonna give you an alert on your phone or on your laptop or anything like that anytime that we post a video in the future we are currently uploading three times a week right now and we're hoping to stay on that grind all through the winter and hopefully from here on out it seems like you guys are really liking that when we're uploading a lot more videos so if you guys are enjoying the content again give the video a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for more tight lines from nb edits